All right, if we zoom back out, you can see that we've added several more soldiers around the well as if inhibiting these dwarves. Remember, the dwarf on the left who's manning the pulley represents reverse transcriptase. Therefore, the soldiers inhibiting this dwarf represent the medication that inhibits reverse transcriptase. And these are known as nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors, or NRTIs. The fact that there are two soldiers inhibiting this dwarf should help you remember that two NRTIs should be used. The dwarf on the right, tying the two ropes together, right here, represents integrase. Therefore, this soldier inhibiting this dwarf represents an integrase inhibitor. Because there is only one soldier here, you should be able to remember that only one integrase inhibitor is used. So tying all of these ideas together should help you remember that the initial regimen for HIV typically includes two NRTIs and an integrase inhibitor. All right, if we look back over to the left side of the image, you can see that one of the good soldiers is getting knocked off the cliff right next to the 200 foot drop sign. If you look closely at him, you can also see that he's holding some meth crystals in his hand, which is our symbol for TMP SMX. The fact that he's right next to the 200 foot drop sign should help you remember that TMP SMX prophylaxis is administered when the CD4 count drops below 200. This is to prevent opportunistic infections, such as pneumocystis yudovechi and toxoplasma gondii. Finally, we've shown a scarecrow with a picture of the U.S. on its shirt. The scarecrow is our symbol for macrolides, and the map of the U.S. should make you think of the 50 states or a CD4 count of 50. So tying these ideas together should help you remember that macrolide prophylaxis is administered when the CD4 count drops below 50. This is also given to prevent the opportunistic infection Mycobacterium avium complex, or MAC.